Jioni leo kwa mara ya kwanza serikali imetetea uamuzi wake wa kumfurusha nchini raia wa Uturuki ambaye ni mshirika wa kibiashara wa naibu rais William Ruto. Waziri wa Usalama Daktari Fred Matiangi amesema jamaa huyo Harun Aidin amehusishwa na biashara ya pesa haramu. Matiangi pia anasema Aidin alikiuka masharti ya pasi aliyopewa ya kufanya kazi nchini kwa kusafiri hadi Uganda, Sudan, Zanzibar na Congo DRC kwa biashara zisizoeleweka. Waziri wa Usalama wa Kitaifa hii leo alifika mbele ya kamati ya usalama ya bunge la kitaifa. Ni hapa alipovunja kimya cha serikali kuhusu kukamatwa na kusafirishwa kwa mfanyabiashara kutoka Uturuki Harun Aidin. Jema huyo anahusishwa na naibu rais William Ruto. Matiangi anadai kuwa maafisa wa ujasusi wa humu nchini kwa ushirikiano na wenzao wa mataifa ya jirani walikuwa na taarifa kwamba Aidin alihusishwa na biashara ya pesa haramu. One, they noticed that uh, he had been traveling around the region and two, they noticed that he was keeping the company of people who are involved in money laundering. One of his associates in a neighboring country had actually been arrested in a third country uh, while he was bribing a minister. Waziri pia alisema kwamba Aidin alivunja masharti ya pasi aliyopewa na kuendesha biashara nchini akisema pasi yake ilikuwa aina ya G na kwamba hakuruhusiwa kufanya biashara nje ya nchi. Hata hivyo Aidin alisafiri hadi Uganda, Sudan, Congo DRC na hata Zanzibar na hivyo kuvunja sheria. He has left the country twice without a stamp of having arrived in the country in his passport when you look at the records in his passes and in his travel now what that means in practical terms is that two times he was sneaked into the country Aidin alitarajiwa kuandamana na naibu rais William Ruto hadi Uganda mnamo Agosti tarehe mbili. na Ruto alipozuiwa kusafiri Aidin aliendelea na safari yake hadi Uganda na kurejea nchini siku tano baadaye. Muda mfupi baadaye alikamatwa kwa tuhuma za kuhusika na ugaidi. Kwa siku mbili alizuiliwa na maafisa wa usalama kabla ya kusafirishwa kutoka nchini mnamo Agosti tarehe tisa. Why would we apologize for doing what we agreed we were supposed to do because we were in communication with the Turkish government throughout we surrendered the assistance to them as we had agreed with them why would we apologize? Waziri anasema kukamatwa kwake kulisababishwa na mienendo yake ambayo hayakufaa